Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. Yesterday, Federal Reserve Vice Chair Lael Brainerd warned Congress, I don't think we should be taking the global status of the dollar for granted. And when I first saw this headline, I thought, wow, someone at the Fed is finally taking de-dollarization and the risks to the dollar status as the world reserve currency seriously. But when you hear her full message to lawmakers, it becomes very clear that the Fed Vice Chair is not talking about protecting the dollar, rather, I believe she may be setting the stage for its collapse. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's the headline that we got from Reuters yesterday. Fed's Brainerd, we can't take global status of US dollar for granted. Now, on its face, that's a sentiment that I would absolutely agree with. I think there's a lot of threats to the dollar's world reserve currency status. We've got the Fed printing large quantities of currency, you know, monetizing government debt through programs like quantitative easing. And we've also got nations around the world like Russia and China implementing an active program of de-dollarization where they are trying to undermine the dollar status as the world reserve currency. And this is a chart from Ray Dalio's recent book, principles for dealing with the changing world order. And what this chart shows is a list of steps that a nation takes on its rise to being a world power, kind of shows you what happens on the top. And then finally, the steps along the decline. And you can see that number 16, their loss of reserve currency status, it's one of the final things that a declining empire loses. And it comes right after large debts, printing money and internal conflict. So, you know, we've checked all those boxes. So certainly I think that we are at risk of the dollar losing its world reserve status. But if we go back and take a look at what Brainerd actually said, it's got nothing to do with actually protecting the dollar. And I'll just go ahead and read this quote to you from her address to Congress. I don't think we should be taking the global status of the dollar for granted. And in a world where other major jurisdictions move to the issuance of their own digital currencies, it is important to think about whether the United States would continue to have the same type of dominance without also issuing one. So basically, according to Brainerd, the real threat to the dollar isn't all of the debt monetization by the Federal Reserve. It's not quantitative easing. It's not the profligate spending in Washington. It's not the enormous expansion of the money supply. Nope, the real threat is the fact that we don't have a CBDC. Now, she went on to say that we recognize there are risks of not acting just as there are risks of acting. And she's referring to the implementation of the CBDC. And then she also noted that even if it was agreed to set one up, it would take perhaps five years to put a U.S. digital dollar in place. So that kind of gives us a timetable for when we might expect to see a CBDC. And, you know, when it comes to five-year plans, speaking of five-year plans, there's really one person who comes to mind in history who's famous for their five-year plans. And this is him, good old Chairman Mao. And I'm sure that if you were to go back in history and sit down and have a chat with Chairman Mao, you would find that he would be absolutely in favor of the implementation of a CBDC because a central bank digital currency is the kind of tool that will allow the Federal Reserve and the government to absolutely micromanage every minute detail of the economy. And also it will help them implement programs such as universal basic income, price controls, all of the meddling that they would love to be able to do more efficiently in the economy. You know, it'll really streamline the process of direct payments to voters, all of that stuff, all of that stuff that we know the Fed would be just absolutely giddy about. But really, none of this comes as a surprise. I mean, we know that central bankers like the idea of a central bank digital currency, but the way that she's framing this, I think, is something we should all really be paying attention to because I believe that from a public relations standpoint, what Brainerd is doing here is she is setting the stage so that when the dollar inevitably collapses because of our abuse of the privilege of having the world reserve currency, and when a really credible threat to the dollar status as the world reserve currency manifests itself, the Fed is going to be able to go back and say, look, I told you so. This is all happening because we don't have a central bank digital currency. They will obfuscate the real cause of the dollar's weakness and the dollar's collapse and this will be the proposed solution. And she is setting the stage for that. She is telling us the plan in advance. And this is something we should all absolutely be paying attention to. And from the standpoint of how to get prepared for this, I think it's fairly obvious. You know, when I see the Fed talking about stuff like this, it makes me want to get my money out of the digital controlled system and put it into hard assets. Now, in one sense, you could just take cash out of the bank, of course, but 
you know, cash is only worth the paper it's written on. And so what I think is the right way to prepare for this is to get my money into hard assets like gold and silver, hard assets that have stood the test of time, that have been a store of value for thousands of years, and that cannot be created or digitized or controlled by a central bank or any central authority for that matter. And as always, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I think that we should all be taking this warning to heart, understanding what the game plan is for the dollar and acquiring as much in the way of hard assets as we can. Thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below about a CBDC and this warning from the Fed. I'll catch you next time. Smart Silver Stacker, out.